something else. So true four and D's. Uh, pretty sure true four wins this. True four wins a lot of a lot of um, matches. Um, they've gone game five every time they play. Oh, okay. But true four has won every set. D's pulling it through though, um, doing really well. Proven why he's PR worthy. But this is the first time he's gone Bayo, I think. But he's talked about going Bayo against Gus because uh, Gus loses to Bayo. So he thought that that would probably just be better to uh, do instead of a bad matchup like Shock. Yeah. Do you feel like Gus maybe like tilts out against Bayo? <laughs> maybe tilt. I guess he's not tilting out against that. Yeah. But uh. Yeah, he might maybe? he might tilt out against Bayo, kind of like how um. Been tilts out against Diddy. Yeah, I, so I feel like there's a lot of uh, character-specific matchups that people have that people just go, I don't want to deal with this ever in bracket. Yeah, and then when they come across it, they just kind of put themselves in such a bad mental state that they end up losing to it anyway. Yeah, and it kind of it you know goes downhill yeah. from there like a snowball effect. I feel like uh, for me that's Mewtwo lately. Mewtwo's. All, all the up and coming Mewtwo's are really good. Yeah, so yeah. It's just it's super scary. Mm. It's kind of funny how many Mewtwo's we have. It's, we wouldn't really think of him as a. It's odd because yeah. like prior to Ari and Jaws showing up, we had Crimson Comet. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. And now we've got like three really and good Mewtwo players. Even then, Crimson Comet for the longest time was just a Mario main. Yeah. You know, and yeah. Then he had a year hiatus after that, and he only really came back relatively recently as a Mewtwo. Yeah, I think and I then remember. Shortly after that, Joel Snari. So like three, three out of nowhere, basically. Yeah, I think I remember um, Crimson a while back playing Mario and Moth. I think I want to say. E Maybe he had like a, a little bit of a, a, a time with Moth, and then swapped over to the Mewtwo full time, and yeah, still plays Mario in doubles. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Mewtwo is not a good doubles character. No, you don't think so. Nah. He's just kind of a big target, and he's kind of, he's not really fast enough to like, you, you can't really like, you know, go back and forth, like, you know, say with like, like Cloud so yeah. because they're able to just kind of go back and Tennis forth between each other, stuff, yeah, yeah. Where, I think, um, you do have something with like, forward air, and stuff like that, Yeah. but a lot of this stuff, like his strings, I feel like, just... Are, you know, much worse in doubles. They can get interrupted. Yeah, true. Nair, neutral air stuff. I mean, you're, nev you're never going to get footstool and dub smash. So, yeah. Yeah. Shit. Wow, we. Bayonetta. Well, the bay bay works. Um. Yep. Didn't even need his first stock. Just threw it away. Nah. So I did not. Don't need this. So I'll just get rage and kill him off the top. Yeah. So Khan's very good. The the reason I ask you if Mewtwo, if you reckon Mewtwo is good in doubles, is because like. I feel like his he, he has really good kill power. He does. So like I, I don't know. I feel like that sort of like if you got a good teammate to cover you, who's like really good at neutral, you can sort of pick up the slack if if they're like good at neutral but not really great at killing, because then you can just yeah. I mean like the, there would be some and, some yeah. um, combinations that would be decent, but I think overall Mewtwo would probably be heavily targeted. It yep. would die early just to random stuff that happens because doubles. Yeah, that's fair. So I think overall, I don't know. I mean, obviously he's not going to be like bottom tier, you know, kind of thing. But just yep. not not a um, not a top tier pick. Yeah, he's a good pick, but not like top tier, top tier. Yeah, too yeah. many weaknesses to be, to be like that. Yeah. So True Four deciding to swap up to the ZSS now. Yeah, I take it Khan is in his uh, secondary's mood today. Yeah, I, I noticed he didn't pull out Shulk against me, which I was a bit disappointed about. Yeah. But, oh well, can't complain, I suppose. Yeah. He uh, he proved why he doesn't. Well, why I don't deserve his Shulk, basically. <laughs> uh, bopped me with Zero Suit, Fox, and Bayo. You took a game though, didn't you? One game. Still. Sheik vs Bayo, that's and that's better, only because than a lot of people. that's only because I I've practiced that matchup so much with Cooper. Right, right. So. Does Cooper not have any interest in going to events, really, or is that like he likes the game but not tournaments? Or I feel like Cooper, he just too far away for it to be worth it. Yeah, it, it's a matter of travel distance, and I feel like I don't know. He, he's sort of on and off. He, he wants to come, but at least that's what I know, or right. what I've heard. Oh, but no. like, just that's really yeah. unfortunate. Gus, don't tilt. He'll tilt. He's already tilted. But, ooh. That's a new lock I haven't ever seen. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I've seen 
I've seen the, the down air lock, but never a weak hit fair lock. Yeah, That's no, interesting. I've, I've never seen it, especially not used in that situation. I think I might have seen, like, accidentally when they land on the platform kind of thing, but, yeah. you know. That is interesting. No, come yeah. on. Yeah. It's a bit like uh, Jasmine in that regard, where he just kind of goes for it. I mean, and yeah, fair enough, but I mean... It's, it's not the right thing to do. You're giving away 3%. Yeah. I mean, unless you've conditioned them to, like, fall for it, then go for it. Yeah. But otherwise, nah. Well, I, it's, I don't see it. It's like um, Jesmo against Kakajin from Genesis 3. And he just keeps going for the yeah down throw, down end. He's He DIs it correctly every time. Yeah. And all these opportunities where he could have just gotten 20% or 15%, whatever, he just gets nothing. And then... Yep. He just he just got bodied yep. because he didn't go for the optimal things. I think the big thing about uh, Diddy Kong that people need, it, well, if they're going for this sort of thing, they need to also realize like you've got a reliable kill confirm at later percent. Like, yeah. Down tilt, up smash, so good, right? It works for so long and it's <laughs> fairly consistent, right? Yeah. Pretty rare that people fall out of it, but if you're just oh, no. constantly going for down throw into down air, you're not racking up the percent to get them to that yeah. that point. Yeah. You're just making it tougher on yourself, really. And it also okay. bugs me when, like, Diddy's uh, use down tilt into up smash at, like, 80% or whatever, where it's like, you know mm. that's not going to kill. You could you could just do up tilt or something else to get, get the same damage. Down tilt fair, get stage control, push yeah, them off stage yeah. or something, you know. But, but instead, they just uh, stay all their kill confirmed. And yeah. I don't know, it seems... It seems... I mean, in the moment, like, it might just be muscle memory, or, like, it might just be, like, oh, you yeah. know, just feel like doing it for damage. Yeah, that's you know? true. But oh, I'm not too sure about the up smash out, uh, damage output. Don't know how much it does, but it could do a decent amount. I mean, if it's not killing too early, I don't think it does too much, but it's still it's yeah. still damage. Yeah. I'm not sure if you get more off a of back air or something, but... Yeah. Sure. Uh, something I actually learned is, you know how, like, Diddy's go for the up throw... Up air, low percents. Yeah. If you forward or back throw, that does more percent than up throw, up air. Really? Yeah. It, by like 1% or something like that. And at low percents, like, I've seen Diddy's do like forward throw into forward air sometimes. Yeah. Like, um, well, that seems to be the best thing to do. I think it's true, or I guess it must depend on the DI, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, it's like up throw, up air does 12, and forward throw does 13. Okay. So, and then I think it's MVD that I've seen the most do our uh, forward throw forward air. Yeah, MVD is definitely the one that uh, I see do it a whole bunch. So, Truefiller bringing out the shelf now, he's decided, you know what, you took you took a game off my ZSS, now you die. Yeah. This this is it. You've, un you've incurred my wrath. One thing, actually, that Diddy Kong players do that I've, or not Diddy Kong players, but Specifically, Jesmo used to do a lot when he came to tournaments that I used to see, and I used to be like, how is he getting that every time? Because I tried it in some training modes and I was never able to get it, but he used to do, and I'm not sure if it's down throw or up throw, but I'm pretty sure it's down throw, down throw into side B kick. Monkey kick. Monkey yeah, kick. yeah, down throw. That's if they DI a certain way. I okay. If they, um... I can't remember what way it is, but yeah, they, they DI a certain way and it's yep. true. Okay. Any other situation, it just doesn't work. Yeah. So I, I saw him do that so often, and I was like, dude, that's so hype. Yeah. Like, it's pretty sick. Pazex likes to do that as well. He used to. He might not anymore, I'm not sure. Yeah. But like around Expangong 2 era, he did that a lot, and I guess people have learned since then, so. Yeah. So, can't get up tilted. Oof. Smash about to run out. So. Up tilt is an incredible move. Deez. Well, both both of theirs are up tilts really, but yeah. I meant Shulks, especially in Smash. Kills at 60 or something ridiculous. Bloody good. Chasing him right out. Yeah. Catching him with the bear. I feel I've noticed Deez do it a lot recently, but on these triplat stages, he'll go for that into like if he's on the platform, yeah. like top platform. Wait for up smash he'll or wait something. for like an air dodge and then go for an up smash. Yeah, yeah. And I really like that because a lot of people they'll get scared of the 50 50. Yeah. And then if they air dodge, you've got a guaranteed kill, basically. Yeah, it's really smart. I remember one time at a Jubilee ages ago, it was Jesmo against Jace on um, like TNC or something. Yeah. And um, on the top middle platform of uh, TNC, 
Jesmo like down at Jace as he was underneath the platform and it bounced back up and it was just charging up smash and he just went right back oh into it. And gosh. they were already like at the very top of the stage. Was, oh. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's that's just like uh, Evo Mr. R versus Zero. Yeah. <laughs> Got like the, the, what was it, up throw into re-grab and then the, the hoo-ha. Yeah. Back then, I think I think that was still in hoo-ha patch. Because that was back during Sheik's down throw up air days. Right. Okay. I don't think I played um, in those days. Well, like I did in uh, you know, casually and stuff like that. But yeah. Didn't go to tournaments until I think just before or just after Cloud released, like end of 2015. Okay. Cloud and someone else, maybe. Who who released with Cloud? Was it Ryu? Uh. It was like Roy, Lucas, Cloud, and Ryu. Did I they all? I want, to, the same time. I want to say it was uh, Cloud, Corrin, and Bayo that were all released together. Nah, Corrin and Bayo came later. Yeah, it might have been Ryu then. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think it was Ryu. But yeah, I came around that time, I think, when they, when they were pretty new. And yeah. there were basically no mains of them in Queensland or yeah. anything like that. I'm, I'm kind of glad that there wasn't many uh, Greninja players. At all. Ever. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> I mean sort of sort of makes it a lot more fun to play the character because it's just like when people watch me play it's just like what what does this character do <laughs> you know? yeah it, it's kind of like when you go up against like a palutena player or something it's, or like a kirby player that's like super good mm. you just wonder how they manage to pull these things together and it's just like oh the character's not good but you make it look like top tier what the hell yeah like uh oh, no. that, that's not what you want Apparently there's one in um, in the US because I, I remember looking at a like a major that AT went mm. to like a not like a big one but it was somewhere uh, just outside of Louisiana or something like yeah. that. Oh, that Bring it nice. back immediately. And um, Jeez, it's explosive gameplay right now. He he lost to a Kirby main, and I was like, oh that sucks. I guess maybe danked out by the. Lack like of matchup knowledge yeah, or whatever. The, the down air um, and all that yeah. spiking stuff. And then I looked at the state that he was in and he's number one in the state. A Kirby over like, you know, clouds and bows and all that. I'm like, it's wow, ridiculous. that guy must be pretty damn good. It just it, I can't remember his tag for the line. Un unfortunately. But he went game five with him, so I'm like, that, that's still pretty impressive. He's yeah. going toe to toe with uh, the, you know, the best in some of the states. Yeah, exactly. In the US. Very impressive. And he's been taking off uh, games off of Samsung and Captain Zack and stuff as well. So. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Hopefully he keeps, uh, keeps playing well. Apparently though, I'm not sure if it's just AT being uh, modest or not, but apparently like say the, the weeklies, um, yeah. a lot of the players don't really try that much and that's when he's been getting the games off of Captain Zack. Uh, okay. so, so he might just be you know playing it down a bit, but yeah. either way it's still so maybe quite impressive. Maybe a sandbagging bit? Yeah, that's, Gus not happy about that. He died pretty quick. Yeah. He, like, started the barrels, the barrels were charging, he was falling, he was falling. He entered the magnifying glass and instantly died. Yeah. It was really strange. Huh? I, G Gus was telling me about, me about, like, how there's, like, the one or two second rule or something. If you just count one, two, that's when you have to shoot out of there. Any longer you die. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that seemed a lot 